This is your CBS News Baltimore Evening Update for December the 5th. I'm Vic Carter. Tonight, we're learning that a Baltimore City teenager and his parents are facing charges for their alleged involvement in a shooting outside a city school. The incident happened back in November. Police say William Dredden III and Tiffany Harrison took their 15-year-old son to Carver Votech in order to assault another teenager. According to police, both the parents and the 15-year-old participated in the assault, during which the 15-year-old pistol whipped the teen. As the 15-year-old fled from the assault, he encountered another 15-year-old student at the front of the school where a verbal argument started between the two. According to police, they both pulled out handguns and began shooting at each other. Investigators say both 15-year-olds and an uninvolved 16-year-old student were struck. There were no serious injuries. Other people are facing charges in this case. New information tonight on the massive house explosion that rocked a Virginia suburb just outside Maryland. Police say 56-year-old James Yu was firing a flare gun from inside the home at officers in Arlington. After attempts to communicate with Yu were unsuccessful, police obtained a search warrant. As they tried to enter the home, multiple gunshots were heard in the house, and then it exploded. Police presume that Yu is dead. No officers were hurt, and no word on what sparked the situation. Just a matter of days, the Baltimore holiday tradition that has been around for decades returns. The 42nd Monument Lighting is set to kick off this Thursday. And today, WJZ got a sneak peek at some of the lights that will shine brightly for you. Here you can see some of the string lights that will cover Baltimore's Washington Monument in Mount Vernon. The event on Thursday will include caroling, fireworks, food, and other holiday fun. That's your evening update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Vic Carter.